Hello everybody. Hello guys. Just let's check the microphone. Hold up. Yes, it's working. Excellent guys. What's up y'all? This is Igor Russia and we're gonna have a live stream today. Uh, I hope a lot of people didn't think that I was again at the uh, the Ivan Gorod Narva border just like the uh, the thumbnail was because uh, this is the topic we're gonna be covering and yes I've been there just a couple weeks ago in that exact spot where you are watching this uh, thumbnail where you see the thumb the, the image on thumbnail that's where I was video and sound is great hello Seahawk hello elastic let's have a chat Welcome everybody. Long time no see. Let's put some um, copyright free music in the background. Some people wake up. Some people wake up and some people don't. Hello Marie from France. It's great to see a lot of people. Uh, 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 hold up. So we need to put some music on. I think they should be fine right now. Whispering Poet, hello Urya, welcome everybody. Let's wait for people to join in and let's then have some uh, chats. We're gonna be covering topics about Finnish border crossing, how to travel to Russia at the moment, uh, and other topics related to my channel, to Russia. Then we're gonna be talking about the Narva border on this uh, video about planned and new restrictions and um, what else the, the topics that I made a video about but here we can discuss it more welcome everybody to Egon in Russia I'm a foreigner traveling to Russia and um, can't wait to get back the greatest place on earth Russia Right, guys, we got a lot of people in. Uh, it's nice to see you all. Of course, uh, just yesterday, we found out that, uh, unfortunately, but still uh, very, very well uh, expected, expectedly, uh, Finland will continue border closure with Russia. The border with Russia... Um, continues to be fully fully closed except for that uh, freight train border at was it Valima did you know that actually is open between Russia and Finland and um, but I was very well expected expecting it I've been speaking throughout this when did they continue in the beginning of the year I think that yeah for two months ago like around two months ago a little bit less Around two months ago, they decided to keep it closed for two months. Before that, they kept it closed for one month. And before that, they kept it closed for one month. And before that, they kept uh, all but one open. Going even further back. Um, going back to that, um, it was only four locations open. Something like that. This is how it chronologically worked out if we go backwards. And uh, I knew that they're gonna continue because it didn't actually, I, my, that's my personal opinion and that's my personal like uh, understanding of the situation, reading the media and understanding what's real, what's not, making my own assumptions and, and, and uh, decisions. So uh, I knew they're gonna continue. But they're gonna, I knew they, wanna, they were gonna continue no matter what happened on the Russian side, meaning if there were in fact these illegal immigrants or if there were not, they would say there are because right now they say there are hundreds of them and nobody is, is expecting them to uh, show any proof. So it is what it is, you know, and it's not their job to show proof, but I'm saying that so they don't uh, they don't want to open the border. This fits the narrative. It fits the uh, anti-Russian kind of uh, 
stance that Finland has in this uh, uh, in this political alliances. So um, that's that's why I knew this is what was going to happen. But uh, it was interesting that in Finland, actually, before this before this news, like a few days before that, they were reporting in Finland that. Uh, a human rights organization was actually saying that there are no uh, immigrants. I don't know who they're referring, where they're referring to these problematic ones, uh, problematic uh, immigrants or not, but they were saying that there are no illegal immigrants uh, waiting to get to Finland on uh, St. Petersburg in St. Petersburg's region. This is interesting because St. Petersburg region is different than Leningrad Oblast, where the Finnish, a Russian Finnish border is located. So I don't know exactly, but I doubt they are hid, hiding in the woods, waiting to get to Finland. And by the way, those, by the way, those who actually got to Finland, I believe, very fast after that entrance, it, there were none of them inside Finland. So uh, nobody's actually trying to get to Finland. Uh, yes, and it's uh, the decision making is um, the situation is that uh, they want to keep it closed so that people wouldn't travel there. And uh, I don't know, it's like um, it's bullying, I think. It's most of all bullying. That's my opinion. Guys, welcome everybody. Just join in the chat. Remember to join in the chat. Where are you watching this from? Uh, we have Uryo who's living at the nearby the border and please tell me Uryo how is the life at the border at Finnish border uh, town and uh, which town is it? Uryo he says that he fears what do you fear? Uh, Gloria says there are thousands of illegal immigrants here here it means Ireland they this year up up the passports all right i tear up all right uh but yeah i want to go to i would rather go to russia from um from finland it's uh easy easy way hello barb from new hampshire hampshire usa and yuria is kusamo kusamo is really in the north right i think in, is it in the north or not i'm not i'm bad with um some of the areas but yeah i would love to get to russia and i would love to get to even though i really enjoy narva and the estonia trip nowadays because of because i had to but i actually found lots of positive things about estonia because of this but uh, it is a little bit um it's hard to get to Russia, even though it's if you have time, it's cool. You can see Narva and then you can see Ivan Gorota, maybe more. But uh, from from Helsinki, it's 370 kilometers to Saint Petersburg, and much much is and 200 kilometers to Viborg, something like that. So it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy that I must travel as a free person, free person of the world. I have to travel all around just because of politics. Hello, Black Cat, the legend is here. Really nice to see you. And um, we're talking about today, about the border closure and about how to travel to Russia. We're gonna get to that now. Actually, we are getting to that little by little. Uh, then there's uh, of course the Narva side. We're gonna get to that. But first, right now, how you have to travel from Finland is that I have to travel through Estonia at the first to Tallinn, then to uh, Narva, and then uh, now there's so many restrictions, so it's crazy. Good to good to hear that you're uh, that you're well, Black Cat. Seahawk says. Uh, now my dad is better now that Black Hat is here, always pleasure. So uh, right now you have to travel, if you're from Finland, or if you travel to Helsinki by plane, you have to travel then to Tallinn by ferry. 
very close. I'm gonna give you all the details, guys. So, uh, hello, Daria. Hello, everybody. Really nice to see you all. Join in, join in the chat. So uh, you have to travel by ferry across the uh, um, Gulf of Finland to Tallinn, and that costs like. 25 to 35 maybe 15 if you travel on this uh, on the one of the three the cheapest one 15 to 37 euros let's put it like this it costs 37 bucks at max to uh, to reach uh, Tallinn from Tallinn you have to travel to um, to Narva and uh, you can also just hop on the bus and travel right up to St. Petersburg. But since the 1st of February, uh, Russia has closed its border from uh, any any vehicle, vehicle, vehicular uh, transports. So either even if you have a straight ticket to St. Petersburg from Tallinn or vice versa, you have to actually get off the bus by the border and walk as a pedestrian across the border which is the most epic border that I've seen and it's probably in the world the most epic border. And you have to then hop on the bus on the Ivangorod side, the Russian side, and then you will travel to St. Petersburg. Or you can do it that, like I, like, I usually like to do, uh, travel to Narva if you can by train because it's faster and convenient and nicer. Then uh, maybe walk a little bit in Narva if you can then cross the border to uh, to Russia as a pedestrian and then you get that uh, special minibus ride to St. Petersburg uh, and the latest leaves at 6 it starts like at 7, 7, 9 every 2 hours approximately all the way to 6 and like this uh, this is the uh, one of the good ways you can also just fly to Tallinn as well there's 5 minutes uh, taxi ride to a bus station where you have where you can travel to St. Petersburg and um, and yes I've done a lots of extensive videos about all the details and variations the cheapest I got if you get lucky you can get it from Tallinn to St. Petersburg for 21 bucks Black Cat says or Turkey uh, who, who said that here yeah, somebody said something more Barb hello how does an American get a, get to Russia? Do we have to fly to Dubai and then get to fly into Moscow, St. Petersburg? Or, and Black Cat said, or Turkey? Good question, Barb. You Americans, depends on your flight. You have to check the flight, which one is the, the cheapest or convenient for you. Depends on your, of course, situation. But you can fly to Dubai, you can fly to Istanbul, or you can fly to Helsinki or even Tallinn. So we covered Helsinki and Tallinn already. Because if you travel, fly there, I just explain how the t trip continues. But if you fly to Dubai, uh, Serbia as well, and Turkey, you will uh, you can actually fly right away to Moscow or Saint Petersburg, and have connection flights if you go in some, let's say I don't know Sochi, Yekaterinburg, uh, Novosibirsk. I don't know so that's how that this is how it happens uh, it depends on the prices and uh, the camera is shaking a bit guys my gimbal has served its purpose yes yeah, shaking my gimbal is uh, finito it's done i have to say uh two weeks ago i told you guys in the live stream from st petersburg has served me for um, five years it's been along my trip for five years it's finally done the battery life is like um, instead of six and a half hours it's um, like one hour in inside without cold can you imagine that so uh, I had to buy a new one to buy a new one and it doesn't I, I'm sorry guys but 
this is what happens guys if you want to support the channel for new for new pur purchases just use super chat <laughs> all right if it's gonna shake it's gonna shake i don't i don't really can cannot fix it anymore all right so where was we um so yeah, and then you just fly from those cities, and that's uh, that's the that's it. Uh, of course, I would l I would love to find out that uh, what kind of um, um, what kind of um, prices, how much it does the tickets cost from from USA? Because I make a lot of videos telling you guys how to travel and explain the updates on the border. But I don't know how much does it actually cost for you to travel from there. Black Cat, thank you so much for your super chat towards Gimbal. Thank you. That's a good little. That's a piece of uh, piece of the pie. Cheers to you, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, Uriya is saying some kind of stuff. Uriya, get real. That's uh, don't believe all that you read in the news. They try to create this situation of uh, of fear, etc. And that's how that's because they can justify justify all the restrictive actions that they continue. I know how it works. And yes, this is Finnish. Uh, horrible, horrible. Uh, Rum, whiskey, is it? Do you say cut? It's yellow. Finnish people know. All right, guys. So um, we had a question over here, and you can join in. Do not dog. So we have nicely nice moderators on spot. Um, who asked me something? The volume is low. Oh, it should not be. Guys, let me know if the volume is low or if it's bad. The bottle. All right. This is plastic. This is cheap. Sure, you can get a... Um, sure, you can get also uh, in another... But this is... This is this is finished classic but it's cheap bad rum all right guys let's continue so we have now explored the situation where we travel uh, where we travel uh, to Russia uh, other ways to travel uh, is of course uh, not other ways one thing that we have to take into consideration is the next thing and before we continue to Narva border, hello Kitab, Merhaba from Turkey. Uh, merhaba. We I'm actually traveling to Turkey in just a few days. Love the city. I'm gonna do some vlogs for my West to East Quest channel. Not too much, I'm on vacation. Um, all right, so the news according to the Estonian is this is what this here is gonna be Estonian news about Narva border crossing. They've been speaking about this is pro basically as a land um, Land border that's the best land border and most epic but Это не пиво, Оль. <laughs> so, um, so, yes, they've been speaking a long time about um, closing the border, like fully. But now they have started talking about um, uh, closing it for, for the night time. And the news goes um, 
the news goes as follows. So the Estonian police and border guard board, guard board and the Ministry of Interior, Interior Design want to close the Narva crossing point on the Estonian-Russian border for the night starting from May. And hello, Yelena. The camera is shaking, but it's dying, so I, I'm, I'm not able to. If I take it off, it won't, it just will stop working. Um, all right. Um, the, as the number of people crossing the border during the night has halved compared with January. Uh, the plan is for the Narva border crossing point to be open from 7 a.m. to uh, 10 p.m. I said wrong in my later uh, previous video, I said till 11, even worse, till 10 p.m. Uh, the plan is for, yes, uh, the new arrangement would be in effect indefinitely. The same thing as the Finnish border thing. It's in, the, I forgot to mention earlier. So the, the new thing, because it was, it was officially said that they were uh, obligated to keep it closed for only short a matter of time. One month, one month, now they said two months, and now they said indefinitely. Sounds like a pattern. But, um, so, um, they're getting braver and braver with all this nonsense. All right, Russia closed the border crossing point of Ivan Gorod uh, 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 across the border from Narva for vehicular traffic from February. And this lasts for two years. Um, from more than 170,000, uh, yes, from February. This has result, resulted in a major decrease in the number of crossings from more than 170,000 to uh, uh, roughly to 108,000. By the way, it's it, one, I don't know about Estonians, but 108,000 is not half of 170,000. The number of crossing during the night almost half a month on uh, month on month to 13,000 in February. I don't know what this means. The number of crossings during the night almost half month on month to 13,000. I don't know. The nighttime, guys, is the best time to cross Narva because there's uh, no buses except the one. And if, you, like I said, if you go on a bus to Russia, and because there's no vehicle uh, crossings across the border anymore, that means although the bus load of the people, which is usually like almost sold out or sold out, which means 50 people or more with bags, they all go to the same pedestrian entrance. And we're gonna talk about uh, a little bit uh, about uh, how people behave, how Russian and Estonian customs behave. We're gonna go to that next. Before we continue, guys, if you have questions, uh, literally, if you wanna, if you um, if you support the channel with the super chat, it's gonna get a highlight. And I'm gonna, I'm going, going to be able to return to your questions or just a comment. All right, border guard chief Veiko Komusar said that considering all the circumstances, it is reasonable to close the border crossing point for for the night. It's such a you know, several factors support this decision. First, there, is, uh, there has been a significant decrease in the number of nighttime border crossing, which makes it impractical to keep the border crossing point open around the clock. Second, we do not believe it is right that while Russia is engaged in a full-scale war against its neighbor and Estonia advises against visiting Russia, the police and border guard board spends Estonian taxpayers' money or European money to keep the Narva border crossing point open 24-7. That's a load of horseshit. Closing the border crossing point at 10 p.m. does not mean that it will be left unmanned. But you just said you wanted to save the taxpayers money. Official will be still in, be present on the premises around the clock. So you can keep it open, right? Since the, it's manned or who manned. Uh, and the number of border crossing point employees will not be cut. 
So what's the problem? It smells fishy. It smells like fish and chips. The decision gives the poli police and border guard board the opportunity to or reorganize their work so that they can perform more in-depth checks during the day and if necessary strengthen surveillance in, at the green border oh wow so you guys want to you want to check the bag so you won't bring the russian vodka inside because that would be horrible that during these times somebody enjoys the good old russian vodka do you like my approach? But this is just, you know, um, what's the word when it's a word play? What, what is that word? And yes, my gimbal is still dying, guys. I'm sorry. Let's hope it works again, just a little bit longer. Now it starts to shake right away. Let it shake then. We're gonna continue the stream and have a glass because I'm getting routed up. Yes, click the like guys. All right, closing the border at 10 p.m. Ursula Rima, Deputy Director General for Customs at the Tax and Customs Board, said it is important for customs to maintain a strong control background in order to prevent the movement of contraband and circum circumvention of sanctions at the border. Wow, contraband. Contraband. In our view, international trade has already been redirected from Narva. And from now on, we will focus on checks of the luggage and goods carried by passengers at the Narva Custom Checkpoint during the day. So they want to just, you know, they want to be, a, they want to annoy you, annoy people. That's what it is. And you can see that in many decisions, even though I have had pretty okay and, and even good ones. Um, experiences at the Estonian border because you usually I don't have to talk to them because uh, because of the um, European passport but oh my god I've heard I've heard on the side how they talk to those who are who are uh, crossing the border uh, crossing the border and speak in Russian and will have and have to actually deal with the person because otherwise you have this digital entrance or exit out of the country which is the fast one but they're just they're really mean mostly that's all I've heard from a side they really mean they try to uh, speak they are rude and uh, it's almost interrogation to everybody where do you travel who you are you know and and the way they express themselves it's part of the tactics I understand so, uh, and this is just part of the action that they want to, you know, engage even more with this uh, pressure, make people feel bad going to Russia. I know what they're trying to do. So, but I've had, and yes, lately they've been ex uh, checking your bags as you enter Estonia. Uh, in, um, in Russia, they check all the bags as you enter or exit, right? And Estonians didn't do that, but they started to do it more and more. They do, and uh, I've been checked, and I don't bring anything. I don't need anything from Russia, which is illegal, which is alcohol, um, uh, cigarettes, God forbid. So you know, I bring just uh, I bring non-alcoholic beer, a little bit of beer. Uh, I bring uh, olives, so you know, and they like. They feel weird. I've seen that's a reaction that is, they thought now they got me because no younger person or whatever I might bring these stuff in and like they're mind boggled. So yeah, they're gonna check more for bags and you know, try to, I don't know, I guess that's a good, good uh, waste of resources. All right, Kvas, yes, let's go check out some questions do you have and then we continue with some other, with the transport. Somebody has some questions 
Um, like I said, if you want to highlight it, please use Super Chats. It supports the channel, but it also gives me, it makes my work easier. Flavia asks how to travel to Russia by bus now. You can travel by bus from Estonia. But you will have to get off the bus in Narva, cross the border by walking and continue on the same company. They provide a bus on the other side of the bridge. That's how it works and this is how I did it also. Or you can travel by bus from Estonia, walk and choose another bus. So you could just travel to Narva. If you travel only to Narva, uh, the ticket is 14-ish, 13, 14 euros from Tallinn to Narva, three hours, 10 minutes. If you tra or you can travel to by train for um, the same amount. I think, by the way, the bus is 12 euros. The train is like 13, 14 euros. That's how it is. And, um, and, and uh, what else? And then you can just enjoy the day or evening and cross the border by walking to, not, uh, to, to the other side, to Ivangorod. And I made a video about, for you, for anybody who's not registered in, who's not registered in Ivangorod, how you can actually stay there or can you stay there? Check out the, the channel a new video from Ivan Gorod, is it legal for you to stay there as a foreigner? Uh, Black Cat, thank you so much for five memberships. Thank you so much. We are growing, guys. And speaking of growing, guys, we have reached and, and crossed 15,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. We have also crossed 3,000 subscribers on the West and East Quest channel. So thank you so much. Um, guys, what, what, what are we talking about here? Yeah, so I don't know if there's some other questions as well. If you come to Turkey, where will you go? You should definitely go to Çanakkale. Olya, get to Çanakkale. Janakkale. Gorat, Istanbul, Çanakkale. Çanakkale. All right, but Istanbul, guys, Istanbul is the, one of my most favorite cities after the greatest city on earth, St. Petersburg and Russia in general. I love Turkey, Turkish cats, Kedi. Ah, black cat, how's the wife, my friend? Olya, как дела? Black cat спрашивает. She says, super. Thank you so much, black cat. Привет, передай black cat. She says, Privet, Privet, to you, Black Cat. And, uh, yes, think uh, more suspicious when I walk in Moscow and meet strangers than inhabitants themselves, but it's true that security is felt. All right. So, yes, speaking of security, let's get to the new topic. Hello, Scott, by the way. I need to, by the way, I have some videos for members only lined up short ones as I used to do but I have to just do the work and release them for you guys so members only videos are still waiting there for, from Russia and from different places hold on forget gifting all right continuing on so uh, so you can travel to Russia as I explained to you, right? So one thing that you must know, then then I mentioned a little bit about the customs. So as a foreigner, by the way, one thing that Estonians also do, they try to, I have uh, people from uh, South America uh, who's, who have helped to travel to Russia and uh, across the Europe. And they say usually, for example, that's by the way, when they enter for they from Finland or from Tallinn, continue to the border and then the border of Estonian border tries to scare them if there are young people like men guys they try to scare them as they say when they ask what you're planning to do where are you going to say I'm going to Russia explore wow I'm awesome I'm happy and they're like you don't go there they're gonna get you to the army to the front lines you're gonna die that that's what they say for some people if they have a bad day so it's it's, it's crazy and I'm just telling them guys don't worry 
in Russia you're more safer than in Europe or anywhere else, else in the world for sure easily um, all right so what else um, so the customs is there as a foreigner you not you are not you ask at the border if, if you must you talk to Estonians they will ask some questions like I said then you cross the border if we're talking about Narva which might not be open at night starting May but then to Russia side it it's, uh, changes a bit if there's a line it might be it takes it might take time a little bit but if it's not really quick thing uh, they're gonna just ask you of course for your visa um, then the, um, thank you Kitab. this channel needs to be valued its content is both informative and entertaining thank you so much um Hola. Teşekkürler. 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 All right. Teş. Как еще сказать? Как еще сказать по-другому? Teşekkür. Как там было? Я Оля, да, да. Скажи еще по-другому. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Sao. My wife speaks Turkish. Teşekkürler. Da? Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. All right, enough of Turkish. Olya doesn't like my pronunciation. Teşekkürler. All right, and um, what I was saying, yes. So the Russian they're gonna ask you for your visa. They're gonna. Um, talk to you and if you're from an unfriendly country they might have some more questions to you and this is something that i've been asked about asked by the people a lot of times but don't worry just answer how it is the truth and uh, etc um uh, black cat got it Olya, тебя хочет видеть Тебя просят видеть. It's not possible right now, black cat. She's she's getting ready. <laughs> maybe maybe later. А? Я не могу. Guys. Cannot. I cannot get up because of I'm not fit dressed accordingly to a live stream. Um, Kitab Gari Davno Smeril Moy Kanal. A very big difference from the other blog and information is like combination of these. Thank you, Kitab. This is what I try to do. I try to give information and uh, and give a real life experiences the best way that I can. No, Shadi Tam Zayate. What Shas Hadi? Hey. All right. She wanted to pick something. Uh, oh, my back. This this is this is horrendous, guys. My camera is. This has served me for five years, guys, since I started this channel, which I made a mistake. I had another channel just archive for some videos, music video stuff. Then I actually just uploaded, started to make it into an eagle in Russia. So no wonder. Hold up. Oh, there's bad internet. Back on track. But anyways, uh, we have some questions here I'm gonna answer. Anyways, what I'm trying to help and explain to the best of my ability and I want to explore Russia myself, so that's the story. This is why I do it uh, the way I do it, so you know, so intensively. Uh, I have a question from uh, Barb. Hold up. Thank you, Barb, for your super chat, and thank you for making it the right, right way. This way, you see, I remember to come back because you highlighted, and thank you for your support. 
Uh, what's the best way to exchange dollars to rubles if I'm visiting Russia? I've heard it's hard to exchange in Russia. Uh, I have good news and I have even better news. So this is one of the topics that I've done covered on my channel. I have a guide playlist. If you go to playlists, I admit there's too many playlists. The St. Petersburg 2022, 23, 24, Russia 24, Moscow calling. We I have different uh, cities of Russia. I have different in other areas of Russia just specifically for that. But the most important, I think, for you guys who are interesting is guide playlist. Guide playlist is on is a guide playlist for traveling to Russia. And I've covered and made videos about how to exchange for like i said good news exchange money the best way in russia exchange money in russia uh, uh how to open a bank account in russia if you stay in more than just a few days i have made a videos also about uh you know uh, traveling by bus by allegro when we had this train uh all sorts of ways the fastest way the cheapest way uh, things to take it into a consideration, etc. So uh, the other question, I've heard it's hard to exchange in Russia. No, it's not. It's very easy. And shortly, you can go check that video about exchanging money. But uh, the short answer is you should check. Uh, you can exchange it at any bank's money. For example, Sparebank, it has hundreds and hundreds of offices where you can do that in St. Petersburg. As soon as you enter Ivan Gorod, the border town in Russia, the first building, it has spare bank. It has magnet grocery store, which I'm going to show you soon on my channel. Then I have, then it's like a, a apartment building in the same building. There's Stalova, by the way, Black Cat's favorite, Stalova. And then there's spare bank. You can exchange on all of these. But if you want to get a little bit more rubles for each dollar, you should uh, exchange at private companies. I've said it a lot of times. It's usually few rubles or even 10 rubles better exchange rate than on the official banks. And they're legit. I also, I have this European mentality when I've heard too much bullshit from the media. So I was like afraid they're gonna steal my money. Is, there, is it real money? With the hundreds and hundreds of times I tra traveled to Russia, now I know that it's bullshit and I trust it. So uh, it works fine. So for example, there's one place I'm gonna release a new video about exchange, but let's say on Senna, which we were visiting live two weeks ago on Senna. And I showed on the latest live stream from Senna, the exact place where you can get that exchange done. That's one of the many places. So it has better rates. If you exchange over 400 something, $460 or euros, you should you you have to have a passport but if you don't you don't even need a passport to exchange money you get the money right away and uh yeah the reason is if you exchange your money uh if you exchange the money in in um, let's say a few hundreds of dollars then it's actually going to get uh, the the difference from the spare banks for example exchange rates the few rubles are going to feel start feel start to feel let's say that's the kind of a money that you actually can get some stuff done in russia because few hundreds of rubles is already something that you actually it's it's not it's it's value money if it gets it's easily can get to a thousand thousand is a proper meal at a pretty good restaurant you know, these kind of things. Or if you can just tip off a, a waitress or help a, a babushka out, thousand rubles, that's a lot of money, but it's 10 bucks. So put things into perspective. There, I said it. But if you have a lot of money, make sure you have a bank account too, so you can deposit money at any spur bank machines, ATMs. Nobody tells you this stories, guys, except Daria gives applause, thank you. Thank you guys. So let's go check some. Marika, get the view. So, уже. Оля. Goodbye. Ну, он старый. Но я его не подключил ещё. Не знаю. All right, we have more questions, guys, and I'm going to put the um the dying gimbal on in just a second. I means bear in English. Oh. Ai, Оля. 
АИ, АЮИ, это, это медведь на турецком. АИ, АИ. 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 I love Turkish. Russian Turkey friends. Uh, why we are, okay, hold up. All right. We have a lot of questions. Remember, if you want to support the channel and highlight your question, it helps a lot because now I'm going to just go quickly. Uh, AZ says, thank you. Thanks to, for your videos. Thank you so much. Спасибо. Are you on your undies? <laughs> no comments. Question, same as Barb. It's easy as USD to ruble conversion. Uh, is easiest US, it doesn't matter USD or Euro it doesn't matter it's all the same but the money has to be in in perfect condition it doesn't have to be the, the um, it doesn't have to be the latest the newest fresh print but it has to be in perfect condition it can be older but it cannot be you know some even a little rip it won't get it through black cat no comments издевается Чё? что я в трусах вот вот что за неуважение такое um, ты проходишь я не вижу, ну пройди я наверх сниму э, ну пройди сейчас все снимаю не, не видно а я к стену снимаю э, оля all right guys continue on Smash the like and uh, and subscribe for both, for sure, both free. Yes. Love you, my friend. Guys, happy to see you. We're going to continue on. Let's continue with the, um, uh, the migration situation. There's something new. Notice my Soviet poster. It says, uh, hold on. it says, yeah, it's, it's dying, guys. It won't fit. Yeah, what's wrong with this? Let's try to hold it and let's just do it like this. Oh my God, I feel bad. The technology is dying. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold. So we're going to do it like this. All right. All right. Such a shame, guys. We have been to many adventures with this guy over here. With many adventures. You guys have been on my adventures for many times. Uh, Broken Heart asks, what's the time in St. Petersburg of uh, ah, how long to, to one direction? All right, so I just made a video about traveling from St. Petersburg to, um, to Moscow. But on that trip, I went to, to St. Petersburg from Helsinki and I actually made a I made a trip uh, from Helsinki. The trip is around to St. Petersburg. If you do it like I did, the fastest way, the fastest way to from Tallinn to St. Petersburg is, even though walking, is like seven hours. So if you go to Helsinki, it's like two hours. So it's like eight, nine hours max if you're fast. Yes. So it's like seven hours by, uh, by bus to, if you'd like, if it's uh, no, you know, there's no traffic, etc. I cannot chat on the phone. I'm on Prism. But I have, um, I have this, um, I have a screen open though. So we, we, I can see your comments every now and then. Uh, hold up, we have a lot of chat. When will you be next time in Espetist? So I'm gonna do a trip to to Istanbul, guys. Uh, 
uh, I'm gonna do a trip to um, to Saint uh, to Istanbul. I've been wanting to get there for three years, but I cannot afford. So I've been waiting. I bought the tickets when there was a huge discount, like half a year ago almost. So, but otherwise, I waited for three years. I want to see the cats. By the way, I probably haven't shared the videos. I just was starting the channel back then. It was a year old channel. If you want to see, go to my Google Maps. You will see this one video I made from with uh, with uh, with the blue. Um, what do you call it? Blue church, a blue uh, mosque in the back. Actually, Hagia Sophia is in the back. I'm not sure, or is it? Yeah. So it's really cool. Sultan Sultan Ahmed Kami, yes. But so I'm gonna get. Um, I would. I was. I will travel to St. Petersburg at the end of this month and in the beginning of uh, of May, I hope. I hope, of course. So that's the situation, guys. All right, we can continue. So migration, guys, as we talk about Russia and traveling to Russia. Um, hold up, is it charging? No, it's not. Good thing that I checked. So um, there's uh, after the terrorist attack in Russia, which unfortunately I was in the country when it happened. Uh, when it happened two weeks ago, um, after that started, um, there was a mass deportations of of um, of people from Central Asia, Caucasus areas. And the, the reason is, of course, because, not because of racism, that's what may say, that's my, um, that's how I see it, that's how I know it. Uh, so, um, the deportations in St. Petersburg and other big cities and across the country, and uh, is because, like I've said, there's a tons of tons of people who are illegally in the country. And when you're illegally, you don't have the information, proper information, where you live uh, and who you are, maybe, etc. So that's the reason why. And uh, before people start to say some stuff about the reasons how, how, because the media in the West has portrayed it a bit like, you know, somehow negative. Uh, but how many illegal people do you let 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 uh, stay in the country is is zero. So you know, Russia has a very different kind of like um, people flow to the huge biggest country in the world. So that's the reason. So uh, yeah, and how it works is of course, for example, Senaya area. That's a common place where when they made raids, police made make raids into those places. For example, now all the pieces come by together. We have in my last videos live streams, we went again to Senaya. There was a shooting at uh, remember. So the Senaya area that I showed you that time and uh, the times before, because I really like the area and it's it's shady. It's a bit maybe scary. So the reason why they don't want you to film, remember, they've been, they've been like uh, many, not all, are angry. They tell you, hey, don't film me here, etc. Is because they're illegally there and they don't know who am I, what am I filming, who, are, who is watching my videos and make the face recognition. So uh, that's my belief. Hold up. What words? Uh, Black Cat, this word perfectly describes my emotion from difference in the travel time between Allegro. Who said? What word? All right. You mods will handle it. I don't know. And yes, Daria, I just put, them, I just put it over here. So guys, um, And yes, uh, during the Allegro time, the travel time to St. Petersburg was, uh, I think it was three hours and 27 minutes. That's the exact time to travel time from Tikkurila, which is 
like 10 minutes from uh, the city center. Ah, uh, Elena is, is cursing. Yes. So, um, two hours, 27 minutes, and there's no returning, guys. Finland took the, the trains for the internal internal um, transportation as if, I don't know who wants to use them and travel across Finland. Um, all right. Um, yes, so I wonder how will it see. Actually, remember when after the terrorist attack, we were in a live stream and uh, you saw it live on the channel. This is why I think my channel is good because when we do these streams, we talk, a lot of things come together. So when I explain about traveling to Russia, I have uh, live streams or edited videos to back it down. And for example, this situation right here, when I told you about this immigration checks, uh, you can check out for example, when we were walking the second day after the terrorist attack, it was uh, near Vladimirskaya area. Um, uh, I feel obligated to say the address, the street's name, but near five corners. So we actually saw Oman, not police, but like, uh, it's not riot police, but they're like uh, heavy, heavy duty guys, you know, like heavy police. So they were actually checking some people's passports already then so it started then this probably has got more people uh, more uh, police behind it so they're gonna continue like cleaning the streets from illegal immigrants and I don't think there is a and I hope there won't be but there isn't a problem with uh, people f with certain nationalities I don't think there is a problem Russia or Muslims for example Russia is one of probably the best example how how uh, different religions, let's say, especially Christianity and the, and the Russian Orthodox Church is the cleanest, uh, the clearest cr Christian church of them all, I think, or um, purest, I mean, uh, and, uh, and uh, Islam can live together, and yes. So that's the situation. So we have a few issues here concerning this traveling to Russia, we have the issue that Finland is now indefinitely closed the border. So the border is closed for indefinite amount of time. Now it's hard for me if there would be, if they would have like a month or two, a month or two between this, um, until the next phase or decision making, I would say they would definitely continue. Uh, but if they are, but now, now that it's indefinite, I can, I can be a little bit pessimistic and check my, check this out. This is my, uh, my guess. It's going to continue for a long time. Let's say the, the, um, let's say the war continues with, uh, Ukraine, at least this year, right? So I think it will continue to be closed for all that time. This year, Finnish border won't open. I feel bad saying it, but... Uh, so yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna continue like that. Um, the other thing is this Narva, it isn't official yet. But it seems to me, according to this news and according and in, in as a, understanding how these smaller countries work, so I think it's kind of a already made a, made a mistake. Uh, not mistake. Sure, it's a mistake to close it, but uh, I think the decision has been made. So I think this Narva nighttime closure is will 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 take effect. Also, the bus lines that I've also covered on my channel, how you can travel from Tallinn now or before or during the normal times. The Lux Express and Echo Lines updated the channel. They updated the channel that's, uh, well, not the channel, I mean the, the website, so you cannot buy the tickets. Usually you could travel to Russia, leaving Tallinn at 11 something 
and you arrive like 6 a.m. to St. Petersburg. So this is not a possible. All right, so, um, but um, I wonder if they just, they already just uh, made a little bit less uh, bus shifts to Russia and from Russia. Right after this, at the beginning of the year, they had maybe five shifts. Lux Express had a lot of them, even double shifts. But now they have like, I think like maybe four, maybe even five, but anyways. And Ecolines has like two. So I wonder if they tra they will um, take this 11 hour, 11 p.m. shift and make it earlier so it can get to the border to Narva before 10 p.m. And that would mean actually, it doesn't help a lot by the way. It doesn't help a lot. You know why? Because it takes three hours to get to Narva at night time when, no, when there's no traffic. Um, so I wonder when, because it, it already at like around... So, um, oh. um, so, yeah, I wonder what will happen. Let's put it like this. All right, guys, leave the comments. You can ask questions. Ask questions. Uh, Where are we? Guys, please push like to the video, everybody. Uh, do you guys think the Estonian border will still be working? Well, I just answered that. That was my estimation. Um, how do you think may Estonia also close the border totally, although, uh, although we are not Vangas here, Vangas? Uh, I really, really hope not. I don't know what kind of uh, political reasons to keep it open. Is there to obligations? Let's put it like this. I guess there is some obligations to EU, which they, they, uh, well, EU makes the smaller countries work in the European Union. So I guess they own a lot to them. So even though European Union mostly is anti-Russian right now in their stances. Uh, but um, I, I wonder what's the like um, legal basis, meaning must European Union keep their borders open for what kind of whatever reason, you know? And I think they keep the borders, uh, the, the threat of closing the border, it might have something to do with these uh infamous immigrants that if they're like uh, masses coming across they're gonna just you know just say we, we're done but they haven't been going there except like one time during the peak one day like few of them and they didn't let them through so yes all right you can ask olga she's now in the uh, in the headphones so i won't but uh uh, I think they will not close it down if the situation will keep. That's my estimation. They will keep the border open. They might do these kind of things like, white, like they said, they're going to exp, 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 uh, check all the bag bags and uh, make sure people don't bring anything. Ill not illegal, but things which are now because of the situation like... Uh, uh, not legal to cross to bring in for example it, they used to be like you can br bring like a liter of vodka no vodka anymore you know the, these kind of dumb things uh, fortune tell all right so uh yeah the situation is not looking good for normal people and this is what what people forget people who hate russia 
they celebrate, but they they're they're not human in that in that type of things. You know, they're not humane. Thanks everyone for joining. Are you leaving, Black Cat? We're gonna continue a little bit longer. It is time. Hold up. Let's make a. Uh, we're gonna make a. A poll. Will the borders be open in the near future? And I mean like uh, at least one of them. And Kita Pask, by the way, you asked about uh, Istanbul and this is not about that topic, but I can also answer some questions. Uh, I think it's mostly Istanbul. It's one of the greatest cities in the world. Uh, it's It's wonderful. And I could have, you know, just me being with the cats, and I think uh, I'm 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 fine already. Um, so did Black Cat leave? Oh, man, I missed it if he left. All right, guys, um, and Yelena is is just joking. Um, so yeah, Istanbul is big enough to just, you know, you don't need to get out, but I I'm, I like that type of stuff, but I'm not going there as myself, so I'm not going to the suburbs, etc., as I would do normally. What was the question about St. Petersburg? Sorry, guys, if it's not highlighted, I do not see. That's what I said. I don't, you know, I don't know how else can I... Yeah, super chat is the best way, but I'm not asking because I'm not able to. I, I, I missed it. Uh, yes, Saint Petersburg. And what else do you want? questions? What questions? Uh, what uh, languages do I speak? I speak Finnish, English, Russian. Ah, Black Cat is here. <laughs> yeah, great to have you here. Still here. Don't take cocktail molotovs with you guys. So yeah, Russian is uh, Estonian, Russian, Finnish, um, English, a little bit Swedish, a little bit uh, even less, even less than a little bit of uh, ein bitte Deutsch. But I usually say that Deutsch, but basically yeah, I I should I shouldn't say it at all. And uh, yes, I answered that with Yelena. I said I'm planning, uh, like at the end of the month, because of my trip to uh, Turkey, at the end of the month, and then at the beginning of, of, of May. So I did answer, did not listen. All right, connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, guys, how you been? Where you? What? Are, what? What has been your? Uh, what has been lately? One of your favorite videos that I've done. Please comment. What's your favorite uh, video that you've seen? Some of some of them were uh, live streams, of course, from uh, from the city. And favorite doesn't have to be positive because for me, emotional video was from St. Petersburg the day after and actually also, yeah, the day after. But yeah, Peterhof, I haven't been there lately, lately. I've been there last fall and I still haven't released some videos that I made from that place. I think, I think I missed some videos. I have tons of videos and I edit them all the time. Uh, so yeah. Oh, if you come to Chanakkale, I'll buy a baklava and hamur chor chorbasi for you. Thank you so much. Teşekkür ederim. Hola. Hola. She's in the headphones, you cannot hear. I wanted to ask, what is hamur chorba, chorbasi? I love 
Turkish. And I love that, um, guys, Turkey is a great country, guys. And um, um, I wanted to say that um, I love that. Uh, what is that? Pardon my French, so to speak, but the bottom, bottom, buttocks of um, I don't know what animal is it. In Turkey, you eat that. It's not. It's like uh, it's it's a tasty meat, but it's like a butt of an animal. <laughs> it's supposed to like for. It's good for men. I like it, but I don't. What's the word? Kit up my Turkish friend. Help me out. I don't know the names. Ole knows everything about Turkey. She speaks Turkish, but uh, I don't. Know. I just love. I just love Turkish people. I love Istanbul and Turkish in general cats. I love how Turkish people treat cats and and animals. Amazing. And yes, baklava. And by the way, in Russia, since we're talking about Russia, guys, kokoreç. Yes, kokoreç. And I love this small chilies. The small Turkish chilies, sweet but uh, spicy, makes my hair, uh, you know, uh, I really like it, really like it. And of course, I've been also to Alanya, but I, I, I really like Istanbul, the, the urban place. It's my place. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to do some videos for my West to East quest from Turkey as well. Not, not much. I'm on vacation, but I'll do something. Maybe like something from Galata, something about cats. And guys, I made a video from Istanbul three years ago about me going unofficially to a Russian driving school. So I was me, foreigner in Istanbul, making video about Russian driving school in Istanbul. And I told there was a Turkish guy next to me. And he so said to me and he was he found that funny. It's found on my map. All right, Yelena asks about, uh, said something about visiting Proletarska area lately. Yes, I was there. It was amazing day, amazing. But I did not find a recent video from there. Thank you for using the map. Thank you for using the map. It's not the most favorite tool, but it's a really good one, I think. And that's the link on the chat to that tool. It's interactive map, but the reason is because this a lot of video. That's why I still have videos from last fall. I don't have the time to edit them, but I re, I I filmed it not live or public in that for that matter. I filmed it on my uh, DJI. I'm a friend of DJI technology, just like this dying dying um, uh, gimbal. But I filmed it, but there's no video yet. And I wonder, did I actually make the route? Proletarske? Hold up, green line. Oh yes, there's not even a, a line yet done. Like the routes of my walk. Ah, so you didn't look from the map. Got it, got it. You need to visit the Maidens Tower. This this fascinating. Is that tower in Turkey, Istanbul, in the near? Uh, um, is it the one in the sea, in the uh, in the Bosphorus? Is it? Hold up. I'm not that good, actually. Guys. Top Cafe, man, I love Istanbul, but I love Istanbul also. I love the suburbs, but I'm not traveling there as a vlogger, so so I'm not gonna do a lot of that. I'm not a, I'm not even able to go to uh, Asian style side that much because it's the the best places are on the European side of Istanbul. But I really like the Asian side. 
but I will have to negotiate with my wife. So the quit and the word was which city was it? It was a weird city. Where you have been and done. You never felt him. What did I like the gulet at the A G N C, especially at night? All right. What is your favorite Turkish cook? You mean me cook or like a meat food? Um, well, uh, hold up. Good, good. Let's, I'm going to show you that I know more than normal tourists. Help me out to say the word uh, like um, the meat, the, like um, not bun, but what you call it. Help me out just for a few letters of that word. I'm going to tell you the name. Köfte. Got it, got it. I like köfte. Turkish köfte. Spicy. Uh, Basil. Yeah, köfte. Köfte. And that's a katleta, basically, a cutlet, right? In Russia, we call it katleta, but it's very different. In, in They're like a burger-ish type of meats, where in Russia, katleta usually is a roundish. It's not round like a Finnish or like Swedish chötbullar, but it's like, it can be. But it, it can be like something like this or like, you know, like this. Of the köftes, yeah. Simit. Yuvar Tama and Bumbar. Is that place's name? Yuvar Lama. Yuvar Lama and Bumbar. All right. Guys, it's been nice to have a, a little chat over here. It's uh, nice to get on. We have a. Uh, people have voted. Unfortunately, 72% don't believe the borders are going to open, meaning stay open. And like I said, if you remember before voting, that uh, I meant also like uh, um, even including Narva, and that's that's bad news, guys. I hope you guys are wrong. Joseph Johnson, hello. Good, good man, Joseph. He said yes because he hoped yes. That's one of the ways to vote. So, uh, Guvech says Gloria is a casserole. Guvech, Guvech, very good in lamb, nice. Um, yeah, I have new videos coming up. I'm gonna, on my West to East Quest channel, I released uh, a two years, over two years after the sanctions video from uh, the best shopping mall in Russia, which is not the best. It's not the best. Daria said it in the comments. I don't think it's the best. I don't think it either. I named it like that. Uh, the best one, I actually don't know, it's probably somewhere in, in Moscow. But I also know that in St. Petersburg, the best one is not Galleria for sure. It's the most popular one. The best shopping mall is probably... I just found a new one, Europolis. It was okay. My favorite is maybe City Mall. Uh, city mall and uh, but best is probably the I would say maybe Grand Canyon but I haven't been to it everywhere I have been to there's a lot of uh, shopping malls that I've filmed on my channel way before these youtubers that are doing only shopping malls and grocery stores and actually look like it Dolma the Patikan Dolma Si. Dolma Si. Pronunciation is not good as my wife's. Turkish breakfast when you eat like everything. Yeah, but I'm not a big fan. It's it's good, but it's not something that I like. Like is um, yeah. Joseph said, "Isn't Goom the best shopping mall?" Good point, but it's more like a department. What is a shopping mall? Department store. What's the difference? Good point. Good point. But it's officially the best, but you won't enjoy it the most. What is the best, by the way? I think it's like the, the way it looks, the way it feels, but also like, is it would people name it the best? I wouldn't say Goom is the best. 
yes, for the rich and for the tourists. It's not something you would go there and actually enjoy the day unless you're a tourist or unless you're a rich. So yeah. I'm gonna zoom, yes, zoom is the same as uh, uh, Zoom is uh, Moscow's luxurious department store. And uh, Daria, did you know there's a sister sister company in St. Petersburg, uh, um, the, the DLT. It's the same company, but the name is DLT. Same brand, same everything. And it's on that, guys, we've been walking on that street, I've told you before, it's on uh, Bolshaya Kanyushin uh, Street, not far from, right next to Moika, and not far from Palace Square. Hello TV, great to see you all. I need to, next time I'll be around, I might go next to it without a hurry, because usually we're in a hurry to get to Palace Square, and we don't need to be, because we can go anywhere. We can go to um, Bolshaya Kanyushina from Nevsky and turn to uh, Kanyushina Ploshet and go to, um, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, the Church of Spilled in Blood. And that's the route, by the way, we took with, uh, with Dima the last time we did a live, which was probably like l late summer, probably, yeah, late summer. And Joseph was asking, somebody else maybe was asking about Dima, and he's okay. I, I, you guys asked me to ask if he's okay, and I did. I contacted him, he's fine. Uh, what he's doing, I didn't get that answer yet, I haven't read it. So, yeah. Guys, if you want to ask some questions about traveling to Russia, about Russia, or about my channels, my opinions about suffering some stuff on Russia, or in anything East, or anything else, now is the time. Do it. Do it. Sam K is here. Hey, great to see you as well, guys. The family's here. I want to do more lives and maybe like uh, shorter ones sometimes, etc. I will try to do those, guys. I will. I might do a live from Istanbul for you guys. Um, I will do a, one live stream and uh, I'll do some recording. Sure. Ah, says, do you know how what DLT stands for? So, uh, I actually don't know. Uh, I, if I see it, I will remember, but I don't remember right now. Good, I knew that that day was gonna come. Kitab says, one of my favorite snacks in Russia is pirosh, piroshki. But piroshki, listen, I understand what you mean, but you have to be more exact what kind of piroshki, because piro, pirozhok, which means something in bread, pastry, it can be sweet, it can, it can be, uh, it's the best way to get into Russia, but... Yes, now I got it. I took the Wi-Fi away. Is the best way to get into Russia by plane. If you have the money, then for, of course. Uh, of course it is. It's the fastest way, no matter what. Is it most... Uh, it's not the most efficient way, money-wise. And it's not probably the most, you know, like, epic. But... If you're flying from America, I don't think you care. I don't think you care go to, you know, travel seven hours by buses, etc. Right? That's possible as well.
So yeah, by plane through Istanbul uh, or maybe Tallinn, but it depends on the price. Like I said, I pref I never, f I flew once when I had a, they invited me to film uh, this uh, Leningradsky Oblast. I have this old series, Leningrad Oblast series on my channel. I'm gonna re-release them on my West to East Quest and re-edit the videos. But uh, I flew then by by Aerof, Aeroflot, I flew to St. Petersburg. And before that, uh, they invited me to Kaliningrad. And then I filmed also one of my fa first videos. It was oh, it's in Leningrad, uh, sorry, Kaliningrad. And I was planning to go back. Um, so, um, I have flown to Russia, so, but that was the normal times. Fifty nine thousand rubles. What is that the price, guys? I have a question for you. I'm gonna where hold up. Can I leave a uh, start a QA? All right, say so. Uh, hold up. Here's the question, and this is the grand finale of the video. Where, further in brackets, do you want me to travel in Russia or Russia related? Please comment now. Uh, I plan to I want to go a little bit further. I, I'm not able to do like a crazy trip like you know two weeks on a train I, I just don't have the time why because I, I'm not able to do this full time otherwise I would be I would do daily streams daily streams from all the trip and I will also all right what is Valdemir what is Valdemir is it Vladimir Vladimir is a place where Vladimir is a place where one of the vloggers Sam lives but it's basically I it's two it's two hours by local train from Moscow it's basically Moscow neighborhood so I don't know I'm not sure if, if that is it worth is is it worth it but I would I was supposed to go to there I was supposed to go there but I would I was six days in St Petersburg last time so five I will lose whole day just going to Vladimir and, and it's just a suburb, you know. All right. Then I can also comment, guys. How can I... Uh, top chat, there it is. Then we have... Um, I can answer some of the questions if it's if I've already like covered it in my mind. Okay, Black Cat says, Rostov on Don. Right now, that's one possibility for sure. A bit maybe rough, but because of the situation, but I don't care. I want to go there. Uh, I'm going to travel to my family. I want to travel to my family to Voronezh, which is 24 hour trip f from Rostov, even down south. Voronezh, then it's Rostov and Don, and then there's actually Stalingrad, which is, uh, uh, oh my God, what's the name of the city? Anyways, it's in this, all in the same region. But it's uh, very near these uh, events. Plus, there's some attacks going on, etc. But I, that's one possibility. Hugo says Sochi. It's even further. It's like two hour, two day trip on a train from Voronezh. It's all. So you guys been commenting really south based, south based. All right. Uh, is it true that Russia city is under restriction due to radiant leaks? Uh, it's probably is true. It's it's not that crazy. Here it's like crazy news. In Russia it's like oh my god, bad news, but life goes on. Russia is Russia, guys. 
uh, but it was uh, that place was uh, Habarovsk. Habarovsk. It's uh, in uh, Siberia. It's uh, n next to Chelyabinsk. All right, next comments. Keep on commenting. Somewhere where lovely scenery, glory in Russia, everywhere is lovely scenery. There's like hundreds of cities which are like ancient cities. You haven't seen ancient cities on my channel yet. But for example, the Golden Ring cities around St. Peter, oh, around Moscow. They're like thousand year old, it's crazy. Um, Karelia says Daria. Yes. It's a bit tricky though with Karelia because uh, I don't want to be flying just for no reason in Russia. I just don't like flying in general, by the way. But from St. Petersburg, Karelia means, all right, I filmed Karelia like Viborg in those places. But the interesting places are northwards. But in numbers, they're not that interesting. People with Finnish roots are really interesting, right? And um, the thing is that um, the big cities of, I don't know, if, I think it's still Karelia, Petrozavodsk, in Finnish Petroskoy, I want to go there. It's it's a one, uh, one day, 24 hour trip by train to Petrogradsky, Petrograd, Petroskoy, Petro, Petrozavodsk, Petrozov. So, and I know Petrozavodsk is not, I want to go there and I want to spend maybe, maybe a couple of days there. But it's, if you compare it, if you travel 24 hours, you are able to travel to much, much more like epic places. Okay, then going to, if we talk, stay in on here on the Russian, Finnish, Finnish Russian area, then there's Murmansk, which is another 24 hours from Petrozavodsk. So I have to spend two days in just traveling there. So it's a bit rough. Petrozavodsk, five hours by Lastishka. All right, that's an opportunity then, especially, but um, I think these Lastishkas do not travel like to Moscow. They don't travel um all right what about then murmansk from petrozavodsk is it still last because five hours but possible then doable also i want to do a trip to pskov but guys these are pskov like uh, that's the one day trips they're fine we're talking about a little bit further so i have to like um, um you know put an effort to it Murmansk would be something, but it's not comparable with, uh, you know, these places that we talked about. I might do them anyways without this huge planning that we are making right now. Daria says, we've seen Novgorod on your channel, Ancient City. Yes, and I still haven't edited the main video. You've seen just the live where I actually was walking back, right? But uh, before that... Uh, I have filmed a lot of, of uh, I filmed for many hours. I filmed so many, so much that I was actually in a hurry to go back. Petro Zavodsky, yeah, I heard it's, yeah, it's pretty Soviet uh, uh, factory, factory city. Yelena asks, what's the question I don't understand? The question is, where should I travel in Russia uh, a bit further than normally? Maybe further than Moscow, because Moscow is hard, but still uh, it's doable, but something new. Something new. Yes, enough for one day. It has to be like a, a little uh, a trip uh, adventure. But you guys, basically you have said only Karelia side, then you've said basically from Moscow south side. All right. No, I don't know Vital Vitalia Albert, Vital Vitali Albatros song. You can send it in the comment. Or write the name if, if the comments is not possible. Uh, guys, um,
Sam from San Russian Ventures just getting strange. Yeah, it's hard to continue making these clickbaity videos with certain contents, but I admire his work. I, I was supposed to, I want, would like to have an interview with him and talk, but uh, it's, I don't know why he's not answering. To all for this. Murmansk is ugly. Uh, but Murmansk is an old, uh, old Navy base, so I guess it's pretty cool. I think you can all use those words. I would like to see Nizhny Novgorod Central Market. Thank you, Hugo. That's something I've been wanting as well. Nizhny Novgorod, that area. Yes. But that's like, um, that's uh, a bit less than a million population. It has to be, it has to be maybe a couple, uh, couple days minimum, right? And options are, guys, I don't know how, if I go, I can go to Moscow, then travel to Yekaterinburg, but it's like a bit long, you should fly there, I should fly there. Sam, I just commented, by the way, today, that I actually asked about him. He's, he's doing fine, but I don't have the answer why he's not doing anything. Yeah, I think the links might be problematic here, so you should write in the comments. So yeah, uh, Nizhny Novgorod is something that I wanted, it's probably doable. I have to check the distances a bit more. Then uh, travel to Yekaterinburg, maybe Chelyabinsk, Khabarovsk with the radiation. It's possible, or you can just write the the you know the name of the video, and with writing copying that name into the search, you're gonna find it, because I have a thing for for just the safety precautions, so that uh, you know some weird stuff is not um, shared. Yes. All right, guys. Do we have some questions answered? Send Q and A. Hold up. All right, guys, thank you all for all the super chats received today. We had a f we had fun, but we had a bad news today that we, that we've covered today on the channel. Uh, if you go to the Moscow, do the water taxi. Yes, I was supposed to do last time, but I ran out of time. Oh, Black Cat knows more. Family issues, all right. Daria wants to go to sleep. Well, uh, I want to go too as well. I've edited uh, one video that I'm, uh, let's see, I'm gonna release tomorrow. Tomorrow is a full version of my channel, guys. Full version of the, um, of what video would, of the Galleria video. It's a longer. Gule Gule Guru Jurus. You too. Good on you for not succumbing to streaming in a portrait mode. <laughs> no problem, Pert. Do you have horses? Isa with love has a very good video. Yeah. Turkey, one love. Ireland, one love. American, one love. Who else is here? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this the main topic of the video interesting. Hope you found it uh, in, in the talk. I think this is a good concept. I will try to do more. Maybe we'll go back tomorrow live with some other topic. Of course, my strong point is, of course, how to travel. Then, of course, just the real life in Russia. And, uh, you know, depending on the areas. Tomorrow, a new video on Igor and Russia. 
And thank you all for just Gule Gip. Gloria knows Turkish. Um, see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, become a member if you haven't become yet. Yeah, we'll release some new members only videos which are in line. Sorry. All right, it's time to go to bed. See you soon, hopefully, in Russia, despite this, uh, this situation with the borders. Thank you all mods, thank you moderators, thank you mem members and thank you subscribers and thank you viewers, whoever you are, if you are friendly, if you're not. All right, guys, signing off. In Russia we say spokoinoi nochi, pronounceable spokoinoi nochi. It means good night. And, and it's written like this. I'm gonna start, by the way, teaching you a one ver word in Russian at the end of the videos, of the live streams. One word, even not, not that I'm good in Russian, but it's mine. Spokoinoi nochi. It means All right, Black Cat going to Instagram, the chat, community leader, Black Cat. Guys, love you all and uh, good night again. Thanks for joining the chat and watching me talking about. Helsinki says good night. Oh wow, Helsinki is here. Bye bye.